one that said Mad Max with the car in front. It's so cool. I am not a smart man, <laughs> but I know what love is. <laughs> I gotta fix this. Also, okay, plan for today. Fix that, first of all. And we're going 320 grit over the whole trunk, so it's nice and smooth. And then we're gonna get some primer on here. Um, cock. It's all his idea. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're working on. I don't think I'm gonna time lapse this time because my camera has been used for cars and coffee and I'm still loading videos off of it. Let's do the trunk. Let's sand it with some 320. Blaze it. Look at that puppy shine. You could eat off that. It Look at, you can see David's face in it. Okay. Yeah. So we're just, uh, now, now, just saying the whole thing with 320. Okay. And, uh, wow. then we put some mineral spirits on it. And we got primer. Okay, so we've got a couple light coats on it of primer. And it looks pretty good. It's a little rough, but it's what primer's supposed to be. Um, we're just gonna do it until the can's done. It's got about a uh, couple more coats, probably two or three more coats left in it. Very light coats. Um, yeah, so we're just working on this right here. The top looks pretty good. As you can see, there's like little imperfections. But before we take it in for paint, we're gonna sand the whole car in some 300 grit sandpaper 600 grit that's what I meant to say um, because that'll make the paint stick a lot better and it'll give a lot smoother finish to the primer so yeah I think it's turning out really well right now so we're gonna finish off this can and we'll see what the product looks like so the trunk is done with its primer we got a good like I don't know five light coats of primer on here and it looks pretty good yeah the end right here you can see it splattered a little bit but it's not too bad because it didn't run uh, we'll have to sand it down when we are about to put it on the car, but for now it looks fine. <clears throat> so my car does not have any back doors on it right now. Because that's what we're uh, painting, or prepping today for paint, I guess. So yeah, we've masked off the trim here and the little rubber before the window. And I think we're going to take out the handle soon. And then we're going to put a paint stripper on it. Um, and then, yeah, get all the paint off here, and then prime it, just like we did with the trunk over there. Now you can see there's dents here, which we'll either have to bondo those, or just somehow get them out with like a heat gun or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out, so. Okay, so we've got the paint stripper down all these sides. So now we're just gonna sand off this stuff. Any little pieces left over like we did on the trunk with some, we're just skipping the 60 and 80 and going straight for the 320 grit since there's barely any paint left on it. So. So both trunks are completely sanded off. No paint left on them. Um, what are you going over with? 80 grit right now? Yeah, I'm just taking off some, yeah. taking off some, some paint, extra yeah. paint. So over here, I roughed up these little dents that we found with some 60 grit, and we're gonna bondo them because we've got some bondo. This one's already finished. Gone over completely with 320 grit. All it needs is primer. We've got some cancer primer for that. We're gonna need to tape this off again though. But yeah, that's it for now. And I just filled up that with some oil too. So. I'm gonna put the bondo on now. Okay, so this is all cleaned off with the 
mineral spirits, and so we're about to begin some priming on here. This is the non-bondoed one. The bondoed one is over there. It actually looks, the bondo actually filled in the dents quite well, so. Let's just get started on this. Okay, so we got the final coat of primer on here now. Looks pretty good, I think. And this door is getting prepped. Just sand it down now. Looks pretty good. The Bondo spots actually filled in really well. They're super smooth that on it. Really good. Yeah. So we got the first coat of paint on here, fine. The Bondo's doing pretty good. Okay, so we got primer all on the passenger side door now. You can see the little Bondo spot there. You can see the Bondo there. So yeah, we've already got the other door on the car and the seat belt on the driver's side motor out. We have got both primed doors onto the car. The windows are rolled up because it's about to rain. Um, we checked the seat belt motor on this side and the steel wire inside was just completely tangled. So we're probably gonna, we're gonna need a new motor for that. As you can see in here. <sighs> That's been taken off right there. That's where the motor gets power. It goes all the way up through here, which yeah, you can see it like that. Down here. And the motor goes into there where that wiring is. We don't have the panels on the door right now. <laughs> We're gonna clean them while they're off the car. And yeah, so we've got a lot of panels off. As you can see, they're just laying around to fix this stuff. So it's getting fixed right now. Okay, so right now we're working on the hood. Uh, we sanded down everything, stripped it all of its paint, and bondoed all the corners. This area right here is really bent, and my dad managed to hammer it out and then bondo all the dents, so it actually turns out really well. So yeah, we're just I got one coat of primer on it so far. It takes a lot, I do a lot of light coats because it turns out a lot better, I think. And you can see I got a little of a spray there. It didn't run though, so we're fine. And the hood scoop, we can't tell if it's plastic or aluminum. It's very strange. It's plastic. Come back over here. So yeah, all these dents are completely filled. Do you like plastic? Do you feel that? Yeah, it's like broken off like plastic too. Plastic. Yeah. So today, me and David went up to the junkyard and got some fenders that do not have huge dents like that or a ton of rust like that. So that we're just gonna sand them down, strip them of their paint and then put the new ones on. Okay, so I just put the vent right there in because it's been missing for a while. So I got one from the junkyard and yeah, it works. Now all I need is AC to be able to use it with it. <laughs> He's working on the green fender right now, that should score the right side of the car. And the rest of the spoiler, which we have the top completely sanded off, but we do not have the bottom of it, so... 
that's what we're working on now. Okay, so right here, we've got a whole workstation. That's taking the rust off off of here as best you can. We're gonna cover that with Rust-Oleum. Um, over here, this is drying in between coats. And in between coats, while we wait for it to dry, we're taking the fenders off of the car already. We've got the grill out, we've got both the indicators, both the lights out. Now we're gonna start working on getting the fenders themselves off of the car. Yay. Let's do that. So there's no uh, fender on this side of the car. You can see the whole intake snorkel and stuff in here. Uh, what a lot of people will do to get the in, because you can't really fit a new intake to the turbo models for this, um, they'll take this, this whole area, this whole thing off. Now I would be doing that, but we don't have a fender liner in here, and I don't want it to just suck up a ton of dirt, because that'll just be worse for the car in the long run. But this fender's been put on, it fits great, it looks great. That indicator was a little loose, but... Let's see. That's just loose. That's it. But yeah, it looks a lot better than it did before. That's it so far. We're waiting for the other fender to dry right now with its primer on it in there. But for now, this is what it looks like. Okay, so that is what the new fender looks like. Remember how this was completely rusted out before? Now it's fine. Looks great. It painted really well. This hood we still need to adjust. We just need to bend this down a bit so that it fits a little better. Because if you sit on it or you put pressure on it, it's perfect. So that just needs a little bit of bending. Bumper will do soon. The grill will do soon. Looks good here. Is that rubbing off or is that just wet? I don't know. But it's not wet. And that side looks pretty good. It's no longer dented in really bad right there like it was. What I'm thinking of doing for the grill is where it's gray there, all in here, I might turn that, I might get that to go black because that'll look cool. And then this is just obviously going to go to the original color. But yeah, that's what it looks like now. Uh, next up is probably going to be these doors. Because we don't know what we're going to do with the bumpers yet since they're plastic and not metal. And yeah, we've got the trunk done. So we're getting there. Whole front end's almost done. Okay, bye. <laughs>